Hi, teacher. Hello, Rafael. We miss you. Yeah, okay. we missed you yesterday. Yesterday <clears throat> and the day before, and the day before, right? You were just a yes. mm -hmm. I have a, a lot of work right now. Oh, okay, so it's not for your health. No, oh, okay. uh, it's for work. Uh, I was oh, well. I I'm still working uh, after the classes. After days. hours. Yes. Oh really? Oh, but as uh, with the same company, or do you have two jobs? In the same company. Oh, okay. So they extended all your responsibilities, or mm, are yeah, you a, an auditory uh, or something? No, I have a project right now, and the responsibilities with the the warranties of. Lincoln Electric and the and other things uh, is very complicated. Oh, okay. So everything is in paper right now. In paper. Yeah, paperwork or is labor or what kind of mm. job are you doing? Both, uh, because uh, my work is is paper. Uh, uh, how do you say? Calculations and all those kind of things. Yes, and monitoring persons. Oh, uh, so you yeah, create it's, teams. It's very extensive. Oh, My okay. responsibilities is, uh, are very extensive. And additionally, I have a problem with uh, uh, a technician and they don't work without super supervisor. Oh. And, and, uh, Have you ever example, reported that? I will. Uh. Yeah, tomorrow I going to uh, revisar una máquina con él porque ya tiene mucho tiempo de estar pendiente y el cliente está bien enojado. Yeah, of course, of okay. course. It's, it's work. All I right. I want to talk about that. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, but it's interesting to know that you are really busy. It's it's really interesting that you are uh, in all those mm. projects. Uh, and at the same time, you are doing the effort. You are doing the effort to accomplish with this responsibility. So I, I, admire, you. I admire, admire that, okay? And I really thank you okay. for that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay okay great uh hello jose miguel we missed you yesterday too hello Hi. are you okay uh, yo sí okay pero por problemas familiares médicos no estuve las últimas dos clases oh okay so you were taking care of someone else taking sí. after sí no sé cómo se dice suegra Ah, uh, a mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Uh -huh. My mother-in-law uh, has uh, a problem. Oh, okay, a health <laughs> medical problem. Medical problem and is actually in the hospital. Oh, okay, so you, you were uh, attending the hospital. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, guys, did you watch the video? The video class from yesterday? Did you watch no. the video? No, yet actually. Okay, I'm it was. It... That... All right. Uh, it was about the indirect questions, but um, about those that are made from the WH word questions. So it means information questions. So they need the two parts: introductory phrases, introductory question phrases and also the WH words, but um, we form or we structure these kind of indirect questions um, a, like a statement, not like a question, like a statement. That's the wording of those kind of questions, okay? So that's what we were uh, studying yesterday. We're gonna see just a little feedback for you to catch up and um, 
then we are going to continue with the project because we have a project to um to complete remember uh yesterday the i mean the homework yesterday was that you had to think about your uh, production process your production process uh, oh, and also your production line, okay? Your production line. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing Glenda, hello. Welcome. How are you tonight, Glenda? Hello, teacher, good evening. How do you feel tonight? Better? Uh, yes, I feel better, thank great, you. Great, great, okay. Uh, Hosman, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Very good, teacher. Nice, nice. Okay, Edwin. Hi. How are you doing tonight? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. So, Edwin, Hosman, Eulise, Nelson, and Carlos Dominguez, I will need that you... Um, Explain just a little bit what you remember about the indirect questions we were talking yesterday about. Uh, we were uh, studying the WH uh, indirect questions, remember? What do you remember? What do you remember? So, teacher, we, so I, I remember that we use the W question in the sentences for the, I can tell that, uh, for the polite situations or asking something polite. Very good. And there were questions are, uh, when you want to speak politely, when you want to use a very polite way, a very polite manner to communicate that you don't know something or that you want to confirm some information, right? A ver, Nelson, continue. Tell us about what we mm. were studying yesterday. Okay, direct questions is form uh, for two clauses uh, both are joined for the um, the the word if all right those are when um we have like a condition right but what about i mean um yeah what about when we want to ask for a specific information like using where we want to know about a place we want to know about a at some time or any uh other kind of information like reasons or manners or with the wh word questions with the double h question question uh, words uh-huh uh -huh. uh you can no, you you have to um, uh, be careful. Uh, have to be careful with the conjugar. Como puede ser conjugar? Conjugation. Conjugation. Uh, for the conjugation, because <clears throat> the order of the subject, verb, and complement change uh, mm -hmm. on this uh, on this question yes correct when you are asking for information and an indirect question uh, well we're talking about specific information as we said places people uh, manners or whatever you want to know um but that specific information that you have to change the order you don't use the question order, right? The wording question order, no. It changes to a statement wording order, okay? Statement, like a sentence. And it is in a, po in a positive or affirmative sentence, right? And so we have to be careful of writing or um, 
putting in order subject, verb, and complement. And we have to conjugate the verb according to the subject and according to the tense, the tense. Okay, so let's go and uh, check just a little bit something from yesterday. Uh, because it was kind of complicated yesterday, our class, because of the, the rain, right? It was a really rainy day yesterday, so we had some complications. Didn't you feel a tremor? No? Well, you know this word, earthquake? Earthquake. Yeah, I know uh -huh. earthquake, but not tremor. Tremor is uh, softer. Yeah. Temblor. Yes. Uh -huh. Tremor is not so hard as or severe like an earthquake. Didn't you feel tremor? No. No? Oh, okay. No, what time? Uh, right no. now, this very moment. No. no? Didn't no. you? No. Uh, no. I don't know. Maybe my chair is getting broken. <laughs> yeah. How do you say, teacher, assistant? Ah, uh, scary, scary. Como dijo? Como dijo? Nelson? Phantoms. phantoms. Oh, okay. Yeah, phantoms, uh, fantasmas. Yeah, ghosts. Pero asustar. El verbo asustar is scare. Okay, so. They are scaring, or mm, como sería eso de veras? Mm, 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 ya me dio curiosidad realmente. A ver. Sí, scare. Frighten, startle. Frightened, no, frightened is if I am, yeah. Spooky? Something spooky, right? Something spooky. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the word is care, care, right? Uh -huh. Right, so I don't know. I don't know. I would say I would say that uh, they're scaring you, they're fighting you, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Digamos en una situación así que que yo tuviera que decirle a alguien en el mero momento, verdad? De que, oh, they are scaring or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so. But uh, I'm sorry. No, go, go, go. Okay, for any chance, Sarita, uh, do you do you know how 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 to say when uh something's happening, Sarita? Something's happening like uh, a paranormal, and someone says um, asustan. O están asustando. Have you ever heard that? Not really, right? Yeah, that's spooky. Yeah, that's spooky. All right, good. So, but it's like an adjective. It's not like a, a verb or an action, right? Okay, people. Let's continue. Let's continue. It was interesting. It was interesting because I felt that someone's moving. What's moving here? Okay, then uh, let me to go back and show what we were going to show uh, about the feedback. And remember, guys, remember that uh, our agenda tonight is to continue with the production process route. Remember, and the production line. So we want to continue with that, but allow me to. Mm -hmm. state the feedback the feedback about the indirect questions with the wh words okay teacher mm -hmm. 
um, is correct and when I say roll call. Oh yes, it is correct. It is correct. Yes, and I forgot, right? I forgot to call the roll. <laughs> okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for timing that. Fíjense que por A razón o por B razón, también la máquina se asustó. A ver. Ajá, hoy sí ya va a salir bien. Vamos. Here it is. Bien. So our feedback, right? This is the, the um, point we are at, uh, feedback. Then we have a discussion of some uh, questions, introductory questions to the production, a line building vocabulary and a sound line building vocabulary too. Then we have your presentations of your production process route. And we, have, we want to go to the reading uh, even though today is Thursday, we can do that tomorrow, uh, but we will try to do it today. Maybe just the reading and tomorrow we'll do the comprehension activity. But the most important thing that is that you share your opinions and you share your questions and answers re uh, referring uh, to the production process like assembly line, production line, the bulk production, mass production, and all, and all the vocabulary we have studied, okay? The topic for today is analyzing costs of production. Analyzing costs of production. And this is just reading an article to see the faces or the determiners or aspects we want to consider when we uh, want to analyze what's the cost of production of a new product, okay? So the class objective is that you will be able to design a basic plan of production and manufacturing process, and also to analyze the costs, right? So let's go back to the feedback and let's remember the indirect questions. And we said that the indirect questions with the WH words require um, that you take the WH word as the union, right? Or as the conjunction there. Uh, and then you change the order with a subject and the verb after, not question wording, but sentence wording, like, positive word order, right? So let's see these examples. Where is Town Street? Can you tell me where Town Street is? Es indirecta, es para hablar de una manera muy amable, para pedir información muy amablemente o de una manera eh, abordando a una persona extraña o como le hablaríamos a alguien que esté, eh, que merezca respeto, ¿verdad? que merezca por su posición de autoridad, que merezca ese tipo de respeto, también voy a utilizar este tipo de lenguaje, ¿verdad? Acordémonos de las frases introductorias pueden ser, can you tell me, que es el más común, que se queda con todo, ¿verdad? se queda perfecto para todo, es el, el que nos salva, ¿verdad? Eh, para pedir cualquier tipo de información eh, o para confirmar cualquier tipo de información con cualquier tipo de persona. Ahora, existen otros muchos, mucho más formales como el could you, right? En vez de can you tell me, could you tell me? O may I ask, es todavía bastante polite, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que may es para pedir permission, ¿verdad? Para pedir un permiso. Entonces, eh, prácticamente le decimos, ¿me permite que le pregunte? ¿Me permite hacerle una pregunta? Todavía estamos de una manera mucho más polite, ¿verdad? Uh, <clears throat> may I know, may I know. Esta, esta última 
quizás es menos utilizada, siento yo, y quizás lo usaría eh, un muchacho que quiera hablarle a una muchacha o algo así, de, ese, de esa naturaleza, ¿verdad? Con ese tipo de penita que llegan y que no hayan cómo hablarle de bonito, tal vez se utilizaría este may I know what your last name is, ¿ok? Or your name is, ¿ok? Right? Uh, bien, vamos a ver la siguiente. What time does the supermarket open? Do you know what time the supermarket opens? Aquí está donde decimos que se conjuga el verbo, ¿verdad? De acuerdo al sujeto y de acuerdo al tiempo verbal que queremos preguntar o en el que se encuentra la acción que queremos preguntar. Could you tell me how much you earn? Could you tell me how much you earn? Esta es una pregunta que no muchos se preguntan. ¿Verdad? Y ese es otro uso de las indirect questions como para hacer preguntas difíciles, ¿verdad? Preguntas que no se sabe cómo preguntarse o que da pena preguntarlas, pero a veces es necesario. Entonces, usamos este lenguaje muy formal. How much do you earn? Si su esposa, pues, le pregunta a su esposo, how much do you earn? Es algo normal, es algo entre los dos que manejan un presupuesto de casa, no se siente feo. Sin embargo, sin embargo, debiera preguntarse de esa manera, ¿verdad? Could you tell me how much you earn, right? Eh, vamos, what is he doing? What is he doing? Una pregunta de información, ¿verdad? May I ask what he is doing? Siempre mantiene el presente, ¿verdad? El presente progresivo en esta acción porque eso es lo que yo quiero saber. ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? Entonces se mantiene ¿verdad? de esa manera. Pero el orden se mantiene como una oración, no como una pregunta. Porque la pregunta ya está acá, introductoria, ¿verdad? Ok, then. What is your last? Tell me. And, and that uh, sentence says, may I, may I ask what she's doing? Ask, um, ¿cómo funciona ahí? It's, it's like wonder. Yes, yes, similar. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes, because it's like, if you say, I wonder, like, uh, I don't know if we have it here. No, I don't, uh, we didn't have it right here, maybe over here. Wonder, 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 wonder. Aquí. I wonder es lo mismo eh, como me pregunto, ¿verdad? Me pregunto. Pero um, en esta de me I ask es como tal el verbo me pregunto. O sea, pero me permite preguntarle. ¿Ok? Y ahí es el sentido es todavía mucho más polite. I wonder es algo que queda dentro de mí, ¿verdad? No involucro a la otra persona, sin embargo, le hago la pregunta. Ahora, me I ask es como este, con todo y pena, pero le debo preguntar. Okay? Something like that. Me I ask, me permite preguntarle. ¿Ya? Yeah? Hoy sí, Eulis. Ok, yes. yes. All right, there you go. Ok, guys, is there any other question so far? Is there any other question? No questions. Okay, then let's ask more politely. Let's ask more politely. And let's read. Do you have any experience with the Eastenders ESO 9000 and 9001? Esta es una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? No tenemos WH word. Hmm. Y yo voy a preguntar, can you tell me, ¿qué es lo que pongo aquí? ¿Qué palabra nos ayuda para poner la otra condición? If. La condición, ok. If, or si es una, por ejemplo, en una entrevista de trabajo, eh, podría ser que usemos un lenguaje más alto y más formal y podríamos decir weather, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Weather. Uh -huh. Weather. Pero en un ambiente 
cómodo sería, can you tell me if? Ajá, y ahora, ¿cuál sería la palabra que seguiría? Do you have? Do, if you lo eliminamos. Have. Eliminamos if. el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Yeah. If. Yeah. Ajá, exactly. Ahora lo armamos como una oración afirmativa. If you have any experience with the standards. Okay, vamos a la siguiente. How did you identify the customer's needs? Y vamos a usar esta frase introductoria. I'd like to know. How. Ajá. Uh -huh. How you identify the customer needs. Exactly. How nos traemos la... <clears throat> Nos traemos la WH word, ¿verdad? Y vamos a conjugar el verbo. En este caso, ¿en qué tiempo verbal está? Pasado. So, what's the simple past verb form? Was, where? No, no, 25. no. 25. Yes. Identified. Identified. Mm -hmm. The customer needs. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Entonces, vemos que nos queda como una oración afirmativa. Mm -hmm. Pero yeah. hay que respetar el tiempo mm -hmm. verbal de la acción que yo estoy preguntando. Mm -hmm. eh, porque eso se puede dar. Usted puede preguntar en cualquier tiempo verbal, no solamente en el tiempo presente. Vamos. What is your experience working with sampling plans and prototype? Mm -hmm. Could you describe... What is your experience? What, ahora, en forma afirmativa. Aquí es en forma de pregunta y por eso está is aquí. ¿Verdad? En una manera afirmativa, el is va a ir al final, ¿verdad? Mm, what your experience mm -hmm. working with sampling plans and prototype it is. Excellent. All right. Uh, next one, guys. How long does it you consider for each stage in the process? Do you happen to know how long uh, can Let's try more WH word or phrase, Sarah. Que sería how long? Uh -huh. You have. Uh -huh. En afirmativo y es presente perfecto. ¿verdad? You have considered for each stage. In the press. Right. Bien. En este no lleva, acordémonos que en unos lleva y en otros no. ¿Cuándo lleva el, el question mark? ¿Cuándo es que lleva el question mark? ¿Cuándo no lo lleva? When has the killer? Exactly. Cuando la primera o la, la primera cláusula o la frase con la introductoria es de pregunta, ¿verdad? Si esta frase introductoria ya es una pregunta, entonces sí pongo el question mark. Si la frase introductoria es un statement, 
no le pongo question mark. ¿Ok? Teacher, una, pre okay. una pregunta. Tell me. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo traduce esa última frase? Do you happen? Ah, do you happen to know? Ese es como... Eh, ¿Sabes? O eh, sería como... Por casualidad, ¿sabes? Like, for any chance, similar. Do you happen to know? Mm -hmm. okay. Por ahí. Have you checked twice the competitive threats of our production process? Usemos, do you have any idea? Esta es una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? If you have checked. Correct. Entonces, mm -hmm. en las directas unimos como una condicionante, ¿verdad? O como un condicional. If. Mm -hmm. If you have checked. Why the competitive threat for our production process? <coughs> Checked twice. Lleva o no lleva question mark? Does it take a question sí. mark? Sí. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it does, right? Yes, it takes. Uh, okay. Question mark. There it is. All right. What about the next one? This one is easier. Could you explain what manufacturing is? Great. Okay, what about the next one? May I ask where I find the guidelines of the new process? Ok. Uh -huh. Ahora, ayer hablábamos de la última, que medio lo, lo tocamos, que fue lo ultimito, ¿verdad? Eh, <coughs> casi que ya se nos iba la energía eléctrica y el internet, ¿se acuerdan, verdad? Entonces, eh, decíamos que podemos poner un infinitivo cuando pedimos instrucción. ¿verdad? En este caso, si yo estoy pidiendo guidelines of the new process, estoy pidiendo prácticamente una instrucción, ¿verdad? Entonces, where do I find the guidelines of the new process? May I ask where, y ahora puedo usar un infinitivo acá, where to find, usualmente se da cuando hay. Okay, cuando es el sujeto I, porque yo soy el que estoy pidiendo la instrucción, right? May I ask where to find the guidelines of the new process? Okay, then I um, put the question mark. Now, what about the last one? Who is in charge of controlling the switch is? Mm -hmm. Is this the, my last the switches? Mm -hmm. right. Would it be possible to know by, en este caso, cuando utilizamos who, who tiene dos situaciones. A ver, antes de hacerla, okay. 
Déjenme llegar ahí. El um, sería pronombre que relativo sería en ese caso. A ver, ese, ese pronombre es who, ¿verdad? Prácticamente ese es el sujeto. Déjenme llegar al... Eh, para que veamos un poquito esto. Cuando la question word, cuando the question word is the subject, eso pasa con who, pasa con what, cuando se convierte prácticamente en una noun clause, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, eh, me llegar ahí y les voy a mostrar por acá para que lo visualicemos un poquito. Y tengamos la idea que ahí, como no hay un, un auxiliar, no hay eh, más que de una sola vez la acción, porque ya tengo el sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por ejemplo, la primera, la primera, bueno, vamos a leer por acá. Uh, when the question word is the subject of a sentence, uh, we don't, right? We don't use auxiliary verbs or we don't word like a question. We word like a statement, right? And then we say who broke, we conjugate the verb, right? Uh, because who is the subject? Who is the subject? When a question word is the subject of the question, we use sentence order. The wording here is a positive one, a negative one, and it depends on what you want to say, or what you are asking for, what are, are you requesting about that person or thing or situation, right? So who broke the vase? Who sería? Esto es lo que yo quiero saber, ¿verdad? Esto es lo que yo quiero saber. Entonces, no puedo decir Did, ¿ok? Esto no lo puedo decir así, lo voy a decir con el verbo conjugado. Y esto ya lo manejamos en práctica, ¿verdad? Tal vez no lo habíamos notado, pero en práctica ya lo hacemos así, ¿verdad? Who broke the vase? We don't know the subject, right? What happened yesterday? What happened yesterday? Esta es la pregunta, ¿sí? Esta es la pregunta. What happened yesterday? We don't know about the event or any other situation, right? With what? Entonces, um, cuando convertimos, when we transform this one, like from a direct question into an indirect question, you just add the introductory phrase, okay? And in this case, we use sentence order and do not make any changes for these questions. So we just add the introductory phrase. It could be like a question, it could be like a statement, it doesn't matter, it doesn't make any difference. More than being more polite, okay? So who cleans your house? That's direct, that's really direct, right? Can you tell me who cleans your house, right? More polite softer, right? Softer. Uh, what happened yesterday? Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Okay. Esto me suena más como mi mamá, ¿verdad? Como alguien que me está preguntando diciéndome, ajá. Ah, ah, ah. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Mm, haven't I told you about it? Okay, so come on and uh, we do the arrangements here, right? We pay the bills there. Okay, then. Right, it sounds like that. It sounds like my mom. Okay. Hmm? Is there any question about this? Is there any question about this? Cuando es como una noun clause, entonces sí, vamos con who y con what y no lo vamos a cambiar porque ya está hecho de esa manera la pregunta, right? Entonces, vamos a ver en la siguiente de regreso. Ahora sí le vamos a hallar el sentido y el significado. Ok. Who is in charge of controlling the switches? 
would it be possible to know? And then? Yeah. Hacemos todo tal como está. Todo lo que sí lo escribimos, este cambia y ya no es mayúsculo. Right? Would it be possible to know who is in charge of controlling the switches? Right. There you go. Is there any question about this? Or is all clear? Is it? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya está más bonito. Ok. Bien. Entonces, ahorita voy a tomar la asistencia. I will call the roll and uh, please, when you hear your name, you say uh, an introductory phrase. Ok. You say an introductory phrase. Very polite. Ok. Just the introductory phrase. Háganme un favor ahorita, disculpen, eh, eso es por razones de auditoría. Eh, Me ponen por favor su nombre completo. Could you please write your full name over there? For example, Nancy Moran, Karen Sanchez, please. Salvador, Jennifer. Please do. Okay. Ok, la cosa es que es, es eh, gracias Edwin, es que es por los que no tienen el nombre completo en su pantallita, en su, a la par de su carita. Okay. Se me fue Jennifer. A ponerle iba su nombre. Y puk. Ok. ¿Verdad que se me fue? Sí. There we are, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Please, Karen, write your full name. Rename your, uh, your ID over there. Ok. Hoy sí, comienzo. I start calling the roll. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Teacher Lorena iba a estar como oyente, dijo. Ahí creo que le mandó. Ok, thank you. No sé. Sí, pero no está conectada, ¿verdad? ¿La miran ustedes ahí? No. No. Okay. All right. Okay. Eh. Oh, well, there she is. Blanca Jennifer. There you go. And Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Okay. Can you say an introductory phrase?
Carlos Alberto. Maybe he's as a listener too, right? Okay. Carlos Eduardo Torres Duran. Carlos Eduardo, oh my goodness. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Oh, he was having trouble, right, with the cell phone. There he is, Carlos Eduardo Torres Duran. And it says as a listening, all right. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Um, Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present teacher. Okay, can you tell uh, an introductory phrase? Uh, can you tell me? It Good. Is... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Just the introductory phrase. Good. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Do you have an idea? Uh -huh. Do you have any idea? Okay. Eulice Torres Torres? I'd like to know. Good. Fatima Noemi Umaña Castro? Miss Fatima? Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Can you explain me? Good. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm sorry, Jose Salvador, we cannot hear you. Try again, Jose Salvador. He tried to do it, right? Okay, Josman Atilio Serrano. Can you tell me about you? Okay, okay, uh, again? Can you? Can you tell me about you? Eh, la última frase que me está diciendo es about it or about you. About you. Oh, ok. Ya esa es una pregunta completa. Esa ya es una pregunta completa. Ok. Solo la frase introductoria sería can you tell me. ¿Verdad? Ok. Thank you, Josman. Um, Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Miss Karen. Nancy Margarita Moran Moran. May I ask you? Good. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. I was wondering. Good. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Um, do you happen to know? Good. Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Can you explain? Good. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Uh, do you happen to have? Do you happen to have? You have. Do you happen to have? ¿Qué, qué es lo que en realidad quisiera decir con eso, Wilber? 
Solamente estaba buscando las traducciones y de casualidad también me salían como otras preguntas. Do you, do you, ah, quiero ver, permita. Do you have, do have, eh, que si, si tienes. Eh, okay. Pero es como una ah, Pero es el do you happen. Ajá, el do you happen. Ese sería como la, 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 la introducción en ese caso, ¿verdad? Ok, good, good, good. Uh -huh. All right. Just one second, guys. Okay, and the last one is Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Se nos fue Jose Miguel. I'm sorry, but uh, we are not able to hear you. Jose Miguel, check your audio. Oh, okay, Salvador. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, you too, Jose Miguel. Okay, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, no problem. Okay. Well, people, let's continue because we have some vocabulary to study today. In our manuals on page 30, on page 30, we have our building vocabulary about the production line or um, the production process. Uh, actually, this is like assembly line. So I just want to ask you two questions. Have you ever visited an, an assembly plant? An assembly plant? Have you ever? Or do you work yes. in an assembly plant? I was working in an assembly plant. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in, uh, how was it? How was it? Very stressful. <laughs> I'm sorry? Um, it's interesting. Interesting? I in, yes. Uh, I was in the lab of schooling. Lab? Uh, in the laboratory of uh -huh. food. Oh, okay. Uh, they made they made uh, glasses. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think it's a very large quantity, right? Yeah, it's a very large. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was in my maintenance. Okay, Before. maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. Uh -huh. All yeah. right. So mm -hmm. the machinery, you were in charge yes. of the machinery. Okay. Yes, the CNC machines. Oh, okay, good. Like screw, the screwer or screwing or something like that, right? Actually, it, this is very um, a interesting process. When you see how all the materials or the, all the ingredients become to a finished product. Going hard or step by step. Remember that here we have two elements. We have people like manual labor, right? Or manual work. And we have machine work. 
And we have to measure both, right? We have to measure both and we have to combine both in a very efficient way because we are not going to be, I mean, we are not going to uh, make an action twice, right? We don't want to make an action twice. So we want to avoid mistakes in this product online, right? Uh, it's really important for us to focus what can a machine do and what people have to do, okay? Uh, so let's go to page 30 in our manuals and let's look at those words. Do you happen to know what these words mean? Conveyor belt, bulk production, manual labor, machine hours. This is work from people and this is work from machines, right? By machines. Bulk production, what do you think bulk production could be? Production por lotes, no sé si en masa. Okay, well, actually that's mass production. Yeah, mass production. Yeah, por lotes because you produce for any kind of customer. It's not a specific customer with spe specifications uh, for just one customer. Like for a massive commercialization, right? It goes for anyone, yeah. And for sure, you're going to sell those products because it's like um, these kind of products like, uh, allow me to watch for this word. Just one second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, mainly for necessities, right? Necessities or uh, things that are um, lo que nosotros llamamos primera necesidad, right? Necessities. Uh, for any kind of customer, all the people use that product, all the people as a potential customer. So that's bulk production. You produce, you produce in mass, right? In mass. Uh, I, does it come to your mind any kind of product that could be as an example that you can produce in bulk, bulk production? Bread. Bread, yes. Like bimbo, yes, right? Mm -hmm. What else? Also, product, the other product is uh, egg. eggs. 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 Yes, eggs. The rice. Coca Cola. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Rice, Coca Cola. Mm hmm. They juices, right? Juice. Mm -hmm. Um, detergent, shampoo, soap, any kind of soap, right? Like cosmetics. Uh, I mean, uh, to um, do the households, right? To do the households. So yes, all kind of products that can be consumed by any um, 
any people, any kind of customer, that's called production. Okay, and they are usually in large quantities and constantly, periodically, right? Regularly. Uh, and you decide, you decide, you plan the time, the periods of time that you are going to produce these kind of products because of the demand, right? Because of the demand of these products. And um, what's conveyor belt? What's conveyor belt? Conveyor belt is how a caleta, transportadora. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's where you put the materials or the a product in process to the next step, right? To the next step. All right, yeah. So now we want to see. These are related to assembly line, okay? Assembly line, but we were studying production line. So in your own words, how do you think assembly line um, probably become different from a production line? How is an assembly line different from a production line? Do you have any idea? We have to define what is assembly line and what is production line, right? Remember what is production line? Do you remember? Well, no manufacturing. Okay, mm -hmm. manufacturing a product, a finished product, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is assembly line? Assembly line. It's like a prototype. Okay, uh, I want to get this better from you, okay? Um, if it is uh, like prototyping, then you are thinking about parts, right? Is that correct, Glenda? Mm -hmm. Parts. Uh huh. No. Okay. Can you explain more? Uh, I don't. I, I don't have clear idea about the the meaning. Oh, okay. Well, actually, it's not exactly prototyping. Uh, it could become a in. For, for instance, prototyping, but that's not the real, mm, the real meaning of assembly line, okay? Assembly line is when you produce by components, okay? By components, by parts, and you assemble this to produce mm. a finished thing, right? But the production line is, for example, with foods. There are different products that, that can be example of assemble products and manufacture products or in the production line, we manufacture. We transform ingredients, raw materials, and uh, we produce a finished product, okay? A finished product. Even though in the assembly line, we have at the end a finished product, but with parts, with parts from maybe a supplier that produces or specializes in that part, or maybe I produce only parts. Maybe I produce the parts and then we have the assembly line. I can have the production and I can have the assembly line, all right, in my factory, but usually, uh, because of costs, the companies specialize uh, their industry in assembly line and production line, even though assembly line could be like a part of the process of the production line, right? But it's not always like that. It's not always like that. Okay. So I don't know if it is clear the difference. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we want to write. Hmm? 
We want to write a sentence, okay? With a conveyor belt, with bulk production, with manual labor, with machine hours. But first of all, we are going online and look this uh, terms up, okay? Conveyor belt, according Google, what does it mean? Or what's a definition of conveyor belt? According to Google. Cinta transportadora. Okay, that's translating, right? Thank you. Uh, it was Nancy, right? Hello, Nancy? Yes. yes. Can you look it up in English? A definition in English? Darren line. I'm sorry? Darren line. Okay, uh huh. It's to carry, right? Mm -hmm. Carrying line. Okay. Uh, can you please copy and paste, Glenda? I don't know if it is possible for you to do it. Uh, let me search again because I read a lot. Okay. <clears throat> what about bulk production? Everybody googling bulk production. A definition and please copy and paste the definition right here. <clears throat> Based on the message or in the screen. Okay, if, if you can do it through the chat, it's okay. Pero si puede hacerlo a la pantalla, please do. Did someone find out what bulk production is? The Google says uh, mm -hmm. is the production of the product in bulk. Okay. It, uh, it is called. <laughs> It is common in the, in the manufacturing industries where the products are not uh, customized. Oh, okay, yeah. They are not like personalized, right? Personalized, customized, mm -hmm. yeah. What mm -hmm. kind of, uh, or uh, does it show some examples of products? Uh, yes, uh, for example, there are uh, pharmaceuticals, papers, mm -hmm. and even uh, the production of motorcycles and cars. Okay, that's pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, do you mind copying and pasting it? Right now. Yes, please. What about manual labor? Did someone find out? What does this? What is manual labor? Good. Mm -hmm. Hydraulics, uh huh. Squirrels, okay. Yeah, because they can be manually and they can be also automated, like uh, with the hydraulics, right? Good. Okay, manual labor, guys. Manual labor. What is that?
Miss Cristina, could you please find out uh, what machine hours are? Machine hours. Please Google it and get like a definition of machine hours. Teacher, uh, the Tell meaning me. of the work production, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have to write it in, in the... Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Through the chat or are you going to I, the I, screen? Uh, I paste in the chat, but... Uh, ah, did you? Uh -huh. Oh, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I don't know how to paste in, in, the, in the screen. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. It is uh, on the, the microphone. There it is. All right. Okay, what about manual labor? Someone sent something through the chat, but I am not able to read it because of the other things we've got. Just give me one second and I'll go over there. Uh -huh. According, uh, okay, manual labor or manual work is physical work done by humans. Great, great, Nancy, thank you. That's people work, right? There you are. And machine hours, Christina, did you uh, look it up? Who found the definition of machine hours, guys? Machine hours. Okay, Glenda. <laughs> Go ahead. Did you find it out? Okay. <laughs> it's okay or no? It doesn't. It doesn't show. Doesn't appear there. Just hit the enter, enter, enter key. There you are. Machine all right, it's the hourly cost in terms of factory overheads to operate a particular machine. Uh, dividing the factory hours and every, okay, there you go. Okay, people, ahora, ahí en Google, pongan, use conveyor belt in a sentence. Así pónganlo en search. Use conveyor belt in a sentence. Mm -hmm. 
La que encuentren, pónganla ahorita en el chat. ¿Lo hallaron? Good. A ver, léame la Glenda, the one you found. The part moves from left to right on the cover your bed. Good. Nancy, could you please read yours? He was just there at the conveyor belt, making certain motions for eight hours a day. Good, thank you very much. Pathfire, could you please read it? Transport is the conveyor belt of industry. It must keep pace with production. All right, good. Mm -hmm. It must keep pace. Debe ir al paso, debe mantener. El paso. Right. Good. Okay. What about book production? Use book production in a sentence. Ajá. Otra vez, ahí en el chat, please. A ver, jóvenes, todos participando, pongan en Google, use book production in a sentence. Like Ronda, right? Okay, Nancy, good. Could you please read it, Nancy? Yes, the first was the bulk production of, uh, no, sorry, that's not mine. <laughs> uh, the company <laughs> okay. is at the moment in the final run up to book okay. production. Great, 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 great. Mm -hmm. Okay, Glenda, please. The first was the vaccine production of vaccine in animals. Vaccine, vaccine. Vaccine. Mm -hmm. In animals. Okay, Nelson, please read it aloud. Okay. Bulk production by machines is more effective. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Uh, Carlos, please read it. 
Production is the process of marking or growing something in large amounts, amount, or the amount of goods that you make or grow. All right, that's production, right? Mm -hmm. Production. Okay, good. Uh -huh. That's a definition um, for this process of manufacturing, right? Okay, good. Thank you very much. Okay, Blanca Jennifer, could you please read yours? Okay. For production, refer to the ultimate in real product in the cost not to fur. More in price. Select companies, passer. No, not down. Air capacity in the bird. Good, good. Aquí sería manufacture. Manufacture. Factor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Manufacture. Okay, good. Okay, people. So now we are going to go to the break of rooms uh, to discuss our production line, okay? According to your product. So let's move to the breakout rooms. Okay. Vamos a ir todos a hacer nuestro proceso por etapas, ¿verdad? De la producción de nuestro producto. Eh, vamos a definir según la, la lista de um, items que teníamos en la página 29, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir ahí y la vamos a seguir, la vamos a llenar, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos entonces. No me cargues todo lo solo. I don't know who was it. Uh, was... <gasps> I was. <laughs> Sometimes happens. Yeah, sometimes it happens. <laughs> like this, right? <laughs> okay. A ver, tenemos por aquí algunos que están desasignados. Don Wilber, ¿por qué se me desasigna? My internet is gone. <laughs> okay. Vamos a ver, Fátima también es de su grupo, ¿verdad? Ok. Ustedes los del grupo 1 son los que se han assigned. <laughs> ok, good. There you go. Please everybody join your rooms. Miss Fatima, please join your room. Thank you. Um, Miss Miss Karen Miss Blanca Carlos Eduardo puede unirse aunque esté de oyente Hello, Cristina.
Chair. Tell me. Um, we are confused. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know how, what happened to do. Oh, okay. <clears throat> One second. Okay, here in the manual, we have this list, okay, on page 29, if I'm not wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, dijimos que no hemos hecho nuestro prototype, eso lo vamos a hacer el día de mañana en nuestro repaso. Pero ahorita vamos a design a ba basic production process to start massive manufacturing of your prototype. List the materials the product requires, identify the type of machinery necessary for the production, list the methods that will be used for production, like welding, casting, press working, etc. Detail the essential tasks in each step in the production process, and you create a route sheet, a route, okay? Esta es la primera etapa, esta es la segunda estación. Aquí se va a hacer esto, aquí se va a hacer lo otro. Ok. There you go. Okay. Uh -huh. ok. Por ahí les pasé eh, la vez pasada, pero igual le voy a pasar ahorita de regreso. Una lista de palabras que les pueden ayudar para eso. Acá. Los manufacturing processes. Ahorita se los paso ahí en el WhatsApp. Que serían como los methods, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Ayer vimos también lo del champú, por ejemplo, eso es lo que vamos a hacer, esa ruta, ¿verdad? De dónde pasa para dónde, de dónde pasa para dónde. Okay, what is the primer paso, el segundo, el tercer? And you can use sequence words, you can use also um, this, uh, this words, okay, las palabras que hemos visto en el vocabulario de una manera secuencial, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. First, second, third, after, before, next, okay? Okay. <laughs> Lo primero es como que diseñemos un proceso de producción básico para la producción masiva del prototipo. Edwin, 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 oh yeah, Edwin. Necesitamos ahí la oh, chica. Edwin. Ah. What do you think? Man? Alea. Yes. Uh, Stonberry, uh, how do you say Alea? 
all the raw material as the ice um, the but mantequilla, better, mantequilla in this mani. case the Butter. ingredients mm -hmm. are not mixed only the ice is is put in the uh, I don't know case I don't know what is the correct word uh, the container the container Okay. And the and the 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 ahí es que no sé cómo preparan los 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 sabores and the flavors are mixed, uh, pero no sé cómo se preparan. No sé si es un polvo. In that o... case, yeah. could be the the ice Espera. Uh, put into the. Espera, me voy a anotar las ideas. Permitan. Aquí solo tengo un we need to find the first, I think. Otra vez. Jarabes. So those are jelly. syrups. 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 Uh -huh. Syrups. Syrup. Uh, also the essences, right? Essence. Essence. Uh -huh. <laughs> Las esencias, right? Essence or syrup. Syrup. S Y R U P. Yes, S Y R U P. I I wrote it on the chat. Okay. I know. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, for the first time, uh, we can. Uh, the ice is. Is putting on, putting on, in, on the container. Putting into the container. <laughs> hey, they <had> adivinar. <laughs> Okay, container. Container. Uh, wait a second. The water is put in mold to create ice, or no? Um, Desde ahí. We have the. No, porque él ya se compra el hielo. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, the ice is. Atrás. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, but, but the ice is putting into as is in the chat. We putting into the container. Okay. <clears throat> the essence. After uh, Y en lo del contenedor no podemos agregar con un sistema de sistema frío. Container is uh, the glass where uh -huh. we uh, serve the it. Container. ¿Cuál? Eh, con container with cooling system. Oh yeah. Sí, porque si vamos a, 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 a trasladar eso, tiene que especificar que va con el sistema de enfriamiento y contenedor. No me deserve. Puta. Va a estar bueno. Chivo fuera. Pongámoslo, hay que ser creativo. Eh... No, but bueno. for this, this part, <coughs> me, it's when we mix the all the raw material or the ingredient into to to make a final product right what repeat please so uh, in this part when we are talking about mix uh, is when we are Mix all the 
product. Material? It's or like a prepare the, the product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Uh, uh, we're talking about uh, all of the process. We... Yes. Flavors. But... Uh -huh. Okay. That part with cooler system, um, it's not necessary in this part, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. <laughs> it's about production. Because when we, were, when we are saying the ice is pouring into the container, we are, refer we are referring to the, where is the, uh, the container or glass where, where we serve the final product. The, the glass that contain the, the ice? I'm saying that container, right. Okay, I erase no. the, uh, this part. <coughs> After we can mix the sense. Uh -huh. Ah. Um, okay. Un ref refrigerator. Un refrigerator. Cook, uh, como que cocina. Cook. Cook, exactly. Uh, la mesa, pero no sé qué ese tipo de mesa es, es diferente. Mm, veamos cómo se llama esa mesa. De mesa de preparación de para pizzas se llama. At, um, oh, well, I don't know. Pizza presses, dice. Pizza presses. Industrial para pizzas. Dice, are the most common method of producing pizzas on an industrial scale? Osman, Nancy, uh, and Blanca, uh, that table, the one that, uh, that you use in uh, in the pizza shop or in a pizza restaurant, it's called prep table, prep, P -R -E -P. prep yeah, prep table, or it could be an utility table, right? Prep table. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. For table. Hello. 
I'm back, teacher. All right. Hello. Hello, Jose Miguel. And I'm here alone. Uh, are you alone? <laughs> oh, oh, you Carlos Eduardo is only listening. <laughs> Okay, your group abandoned you. No, no, it's not that they don't love you. <laughs> no, Glenda, Glenda actually is changing the, the oh. device. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, but you can follow the steps if you want, right? Mm -hmm. You actually, just follow the step after design a basic product, then list the materials, identify the type of machinery, list the methods for your product. But uh, we have a little bit, uh, trouble to think that because we don't produce anything. We, uh, we, ¿cómo se dice? Brindamos? Mm -hmm. Bring, mm -hmm. bring a give. service. Give. A gift. Mm -hmm. We give a service. All right, then you the can, delivery. you can, actually, mm -hmm. we saw, we, well, actually, I, I think in the uh, equipment like a motorcycle and, and the application, mm -hmm. something like that, but nothing to produce real. Yes, because it's not a tangible product and you are not manufacturing anything, right? But right. Uh, you have some other um, products that, that you will need as a supply, for example, boxes, or I don't know, envelopes or some things that you will need to send the packages from people or the bags or the um, uh, backpacks or the containers of the- well, We was uh, talking about that because uh, we thinking of uh, uh, bags and box, but, but we give the service to the- uh, to uh, enterprises mm -hmm. for people. For example, we uh, we work uh, uh, like a delivery to restaurants. Some, and, oh. and okay, so it's like B two B. So from business they, to they, business. They have, uh -huh, correct. So in this in that case, the the the, Service? Negocio, the, uh, the business the business they they have uh, their own bags, uh, packaging. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. So you have so, to think only in your in your um, tools and all your resources, right? right? Okay, good. Okay. But you can think about a test, I mean, a pilot test, right? A pilot test. Um, pilot. Maybe you can do like a prueba piloto, right? Mm, okay, okay. You can, for example, this pilot test could be for one month, right? Uh, until having the best way of giving the service, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, that's a that's one idea. Mm -hmm. Well, in you cannot list the methods that you will be using for your production, but you can list some methods how you are going to, um, I mean, what is your process uh, to be contacted and also to um, to do the contracts, right? Or, or to do business, right? Mm -hmm. So the way you work, the way you work. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. I, mm -hmm. I, like for example, the first step, the... the first step will be um the customer makes the order, right? Or puts the order. Then uh, you receive a message that you have uh, with your list of products or of packages that you have to deliver. You uh, follow the route, right? Or some things like that, like a process, right? What's the way you are going to operate? Okay, okay. Um, I'm typing that. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. For example, if you say, uh, okay, the customer calls or puts the order. After he makes the order, then mm, it goes to the warehouse list, right? They prepare the order. And then you, your company as the delivery system, then you go and take 
the orders out from the warehouse and then you route the day, I mean, the delivery day, right? The delivery schedule for the day and so on. That's your decision because may maybe it's not going to be hour by hour, right? But, or every, every order is going to be go, I mean, it, it's going to be taken out from the warehouse or in a bulk. I don't know what you are going to think about, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Done. Okay, if you're going one by one or you are going for a group of orders, right? Yeah, I yeah, a group is is more you were easy, but yeah, but it's it's, it's my lento, it's slowly. Actually, it is not because you you client, schedule yeah. a, but you can make this um ah it's for food, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and if it is for food, yes, it has to be one by one. Yeah. De yeah, definitely. Depends the 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 business. Yeah, no, actually, if it is for food, I think you have to go one by one. Es que mm -hmm. en español, porque es tan lento. <laughs> <laughs> eh, si, la mayoría va a ser comida, pero no solo nos limitamos a comida. Ah, sino okay. Cualquier tipo de negocio. Entonces, voy a hacer diferencia. Los de comida okay. uno uno. Mm -hmm. Y si, por ejemplo, me piden cosas como de un tipo freón o algo ah. así, puedo formar lotes por tiempo. Oh, ok, good. Good idea. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not difficult this is just uh to be creative yeah and enjoy enjoy because remember that this is only on paper <laughs> yeah, okay well, yeah. yeah papers holds anything and everything you want to put it into right <laughs> okay okay yeah just oh, be creative hello. just be creative all right all right. Okay. Well, I will start. Sure, continue. Thanks, Peter. How's it going? How was it? Easy, did you finish? Um, nope. Not all, right? Not all, okay. Mm -hmm. A ver, escuchemos al grupo uno. Let's listen to the group number one. Remember it was a Wilbur's group, all right? Okay, I will share it. Yes, go ahead, please.
Okay, we didn't fi we didn't finish, uh, but we had only only this. Mm -hmm. We had the ingredients, uh, only our two ingredients because uh, we are trying this product. Uh, Okay, can be uh, the most uh, natural as possible. So we have uh, honey and frogs. Uh, the machinery we need to process these ingredients are the, mach uh, the washing machines, uh, juice processors, squeezers, containers, machina machinery, and the process. Uh, I don't know if someone uh, wants to follow in reading. Okay. Oh. There you go, Christina. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, first step is washing the fruits. Uh, then the fruits pass to the juice procedures um, to extract the juice. Um, after mix the ingredients, um, in, in the container, in the container industrial, uh, filling the juice, ju juice mm -hmm. in, in the butter and capping. E leveling to 40 storage. All right, very good, very good. This is a very good process. Mm. And is it considered the step where you were going to add the, uh, because you said that it's completed, complete natural, right? Completely natural. So what's the way to preserve this uh, kind of product? What's the way to do it? To preserve, uh, because you don't want to put any additive, right? Like preservants or salt or any other kind of a, ingredient to preserve it. Uh, is there any process that you consider to a, preserve this or to extend the life of the juices? Uh, no. Well, or we are thinking about we are, we was thinking about it uh, and one uh, requirement mm -hmm. uh, was the product uh, has to be a kind of process frozen oh frozen uh -huh. right. mm -hmm. because uh, the honey uh, doesn't ex expire it expires 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 uh -huh. mm -hmm. doesn't expire uh -huh, because the honey doesn't expire, so we decide uh, to aggregate uh, the honey as an uh, ingredient. Oh, okay, that's the preservant that you're going to use instead of sugar or any other additive like yes. uh, chemical uh -huh. preservants yes. or, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you said something very interesting and I like your idea of uh, using the temperatures. You can use high temperature and you can use low temperatures. And that's a very good way to preserve this kind of products. All right. So you will need a machine to do that, like, a, like the pasteurization, right? Something like that. All right, good. Thank you very much. You did a very good job, guys. You did a really good job. And I like that you went right to the point. Okay. So let's see, we have two minutes for the next group. The next group is group number two. Uh, let me check. Carlos Edwin, Eulice, Jose, Nelson, Rafael, and Salvador. Two minutes. Less than two minutes, please. <laughs> So for our, our product, uh, we use as ingredient uh, fruit ice, and it's easy because uh, all is natural. And for the first step, uh, we use the mix, and 
ensure the ice is ready to the final product. The consistent has to do good and mix the fruit with the sugar uh, to form the each scent for each flavor. And after we have to test the ingredient, each flavor and scent and ensure the consistency is good. And after we, we are ready to prepare the natural minuta. So uh, for filter, after the flavor is approved and the ice is ready to the put into the container and we move the ice into the container and give the consistent with each flavor. And after we are ready to serve to serve the, the minuta. Any questions? Actually, I've got a lot, but don't worry. It's okay. I think you did a very good job using the vocabulary we were, we were studying. I mean, the vocabulary of manufacturing and production, right? Uh, I, there is one, only one thing. Uh, aren't you going to prepare this uh, on demand? Are you going to bottle this kind of minuta? Yes. Bottling or on demand? O sea, lo van so, a vender cuando el cliente llega o lo van a vender embotellado, o sea, envasado. When the client is coming. On demand, on demand. Uh -huh. Yes. On demand. All right. All right. That's what I didn't understand when you use capping. Capping because I thought that you were going to put a cap on the the uh, on the cap, right? Uh, hey, look, this is a very different pronunciation. Cap and cup. Okay. Cap and cup. Cup is the vase, right? Where uh that you are using. Okay, but when do you scratch the eyes? When do you scratch the thing like scraping? Don't you do that? Uh, this scrape the eyes when- Or you use a machine. Is it going to be manually or uh, with a machine? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh yes. But we we if we use in a machine and we scrub the scrape the ice, where as a first time when we prefer, prepare the minuta. All right, with a machine. Yes. Oh right, so it's not going to be manual labor. But yeah. No. We, we can use the handle tool tool. Uh, for uh, so uh, sorry uh, where to to be prepared for any inconvenient oh so you are going to okay you are going to scratch the eyes scrape the eyes with a machine you prepare the cups and then you put them and get them ready for each customer that comes on demand and you prepare just with the flavors the ice that you have already prepared in the freezer. Is that correct? Okay, that's a very good process. That's a very good process, I think. Yeah. All right. And you are going to save time too mm -hmm. uh, if you have this all prepared. All right. Thank you very much, Edwin. Ya veo que Edwin es el, el de Relaciones Públicas de esta compañía, chicos, de la de las minutas. Ajá, uh -huh. él es de Public Relations. <laughs> a ver, a ver, a ver, vamos a ver. Eh, oh my God, 10.02. Okay, I will call the roll and we are going to, um, one second. And then let me check who is the one for.
We finished the list, ¿ok? El que me quedaba antes, no sé si Rafael quisiera quedarse, que sería el siguiente y... O el que no se quedó, ¿verdad? De ahí volvemos a comenzar al uno, que sería Ana Lorena. Pero como Ana Lorena no está, por eso le digo, Rafael, ¿quisiera quedarse? No, teacher, I have no. a work. Ok, ajá, muy bien. Pero tengo que ofrecerle siempre, por eso. Yo ya sabía, pero tenía que ofrecerse. No, vale, vamos a ver, de ahí, ¿alguien quiere quedarse conmigo? Estos diez minutitos. No, no, solo uno. Eh, no puedo atenderlos a todos al mismo Me tiempo. Dice. Lo siento, lo siento. Ajá. No, pero no hay problema. El que quiera, con gusto. Voy a tomar la lista y deciden, ¿ok? Ana Lorena Lobato. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez. Presente, chair. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Por ahí día Carlos Eduardo. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Pati Manoemio Maña Castro. <coughs> Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> okay. I hope you get better from your cough. Your cough. Okay. Okay, Mr. Nelson. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Mr. Salvador, he has no audio, right? I'm here. Ok, ok. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present. Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Teacher. Raúl Ernesto González. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Thank you, Nelson. Yeah, I saw that you said present. Rosa, Miss Rosa. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present. Okay. Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, people. So see you tomorrow. Have a very good night and do your homework, please. Okay. Yeah, see you tomorrow, everybody. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. ¿Quién se quería quedar? Ya no pregunté. <laughs> ok. ¿Miss Rosa? ¿Miss Rosa, usted quería quedarse? Salvador, do you want to stay? Do you want to ask any question? Not yet. Okay. No, no. All right. 